Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. About 11 days ago, over here at VentusGuide.com, there was this mysterious anomaly that had shown up now for the second time in two months, a disturbance under the significant wave height category that showed this uniform disturbance moving through the Atlantic Ocean up from Antarctica between South America and Africa, slowly moving towards the equator, implying that there was an area of 80 plus foot waves out here. I took a look at it myself. I've used Venta Sky for many, many years, and the thought came to me of a possible USO, some sort of an undersea object that was moving slowly through the Atlantic Ocean, giving the illusion of 83 foot waves, but all along it could have been the, the density of the craft. Possibly that came from the hollow earth that, that some say exists down here in Antarctica. If you go over to the Library of Congress, you can see a list of hollow earth theories that go back many decades. In some cases, over a hundred years. There's a, a book right here written by Raymond Bernard, PhD, a doctor talking about flying saucers from the Earth's interior. Once again, back over here to the Library of Congress, under the science category, Hollow Earth Theories, there is a very lengthy list of articles, papers, books that have been written over the last 100, 150, in some cases 200 years, pertaining to the possibility of a hollow Earth. And that's something that I've never really talked about over here. I've, I've heard of it, of course. I've looked into it, of course. I was wondering what your guys' opinion was on the hollow earth theory. Could this anomaly that was picked up by Ventusky.com out here in the Atlantic Ocean, could it have been some sort of a large undersea object that traveled from the hollow earth up through the Atlantic Ocean? What are your thoughts on the hollow earth or have you even given it any thoughts? Supposedly, according to some theories, there's an entrance down here in Antarctica that goes to the earth's interior and there's also a entrance up here at the the North Pole of the Earth that also goes to the interior of Earth. I was just curious as to what you guys possibly thought about those theories. Again, some books have been written by, by PhDs, doctors going back a hundred years. 1920 was this book right here. This book was written in 1920 by that gentleman. And the list over here at the Library of Congress is very, very long pertaining to hollow earth theories. Just another theory, guys, about the possible origins of this anomaly, whatever it may have been that was detected over here at ventusky.com. Maybe it originated from the interior of planet Earth. Leave your comments down below in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.